Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make a car parts fly in effect very easy in After Effects. First of all make sure you are at the very beginning of your video and then go to composition. Save frame as and click on Photoshop layers. Save it somewhere you will find it easily. Name it to clean and hit save button. Go to that folder now and open that Photoshop file. In Photoshop, grab a remove tool and make sure the image is selected and then remove the car from a background. Make sure the image is clean and once you are satisfied with it, right click on your image and click on quick export as PNG, name it to clean PNG and save it at the same folder. Close the Photoshop now and go back to After Effects. Drag and drop that image into AE Timeline. Scroll one second forward and cut the clean PNG layer there. Move your actual video there. So now we have a clean background and an actual video. Now make sure you are at the beginning of your actual video and duplicate it. Right click on duplicated layer, go to time and select, freeze frame. Move that layer above clean PNG and make sure it's above the clean layer, then cut it where clean PNG ends. Right click on froze layer and pre-compose it. Now we have to mask all car parts one by one, and I will begin with the front door. Let's rename that layer to door one. Now grab a pen tool and mask out the front door. Once you have that door only layer, duplicate it, then press M on your keyboard and delete the mask on duplicated layer. Now let's mask out another door, grab a pen tool again and mask that second door. Now I will skip that part cause you already know how to isolate all car parts. Do the same steps, mask all car parts and once you will finish, we can animate all car parts. So here I have masked out some of the parts and now let's select all of them and hit P on your keyboard to open position. Scroll to the end of car parts layers and click on position stopwatch icon on all of them. Scroll to very beginning now and enable 3D on these parts. Now select parts one by one and move them out of the frame randomly like in this tutorial. Once you have finished, let's check the animation. That looks pretty cool but, now let's add some camera movements. Create new camera layer. I will name it camera shake and hit OK. Cut camera layer where the car parts ends. Make sure to enable 3D on your clean PNG layer as well. Open camera transform settings now and click on position and point of interest stopwatch icons. Move these two keyframes to the very end of your camera layer and then grab a dolly cursor tool. Now scroll to the moment where the part's coming into the video and zoom into that part. Scroll forward a bit and then grab a pan cursor tool and change direction of the camera like this. Now scroll to the beginning, right click on stopwatch icons and select reset to bring everything to normal. Let's play back and check the animation. That looks cool. Select all keyframes now and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Enable motion blur on all 3D layers and let's check it again. Nice, now let's add a shake effect. I will skip that part cause I have already made shake tutorials. Also I have made 16 unique shake effects that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks with AM film shakes. That's way better. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.